Eyewitness News, Monday, May 29th, with Tony Pepper, Jack Williams, and the Eyewitness News team. Here's what's happening tonight. A Cohasset man shot and killed himself late today after he killed his wife. And a legislative committee on Beacon Hill will begin hearings this week on a proposal to build a new sports complex in Boston. Mayor Kevin White has proposed that the 18,000-seat, $35 million combination sports convention hall be funded by tax-exempt bonds, backed by the state. Expanded version of the weather outlook, and that's coming up next. I will into Beth that lots of people are nursing sunburns tonight. Uh, just a beautiful weekend, no question about it, except along the coast of the southeast uh, where they had the fog burning off the haze today. But I think tomorrow they're going to sit in the fog all day long because that uh, low pressure area trough that which we were talking about at the beginning of the weekend is still down there. It's coming up a little closer again. So uh, they're going to have trouble getting into the sunshine tomorrow, whereas the rest of New England stays 85 to 95 degrees. Temperatures almost 100 degrees in portions of Maine today. We take a look at a national map that shows nothing but fine summer-like weather, hot and humid air, running up through the Midwest from the Gulf states. 96 degrees today. It's still 69, a summer-like night, clear skies. And here's that thick fog along the entire south coast all the way down to New York City uh, with this sliding up a little bit right up through Providence now and about like this. I think there'll be some flight delays in the northeast corridor tomorrow morning uh, until that burns off at some of the more interior locations. Again, I don't think it's going to burn off southeast of a line from, say, Plymouth down to Narragansett Bay. And uh, not the cool temperatures as well. It was 94 in Concord for a new record high. Clear and warm, uh, nice, clear, mild, light southerly winds. For tomorrow, well, hazy sunshine, temperatures in the mid-80s. Times seven is 14, yeah. three times seven is 21. You ain't kidding, right. Tony, but I'll tell you, it's a special combination of sevens that proved to be very lucky for the Red Sox as they, top, as they stopped the Toronto Blue Jays 5-4 to four down at Fenway Park this afternoon in sports. Tony? And Janet Guthrie did a pretty good job, too. She surely did, with a bad hand. A.J. Foyt said that uh, she stayed out of the way, but she beat 25 men. Uh, I would say that's uh, staying out of the way pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Jack? Well, the sports news continues of sorts. Uh, speaking of sports, Mary Stewart has some background on something that has become, well, a sort of a spectator sport now in the North End. It's a shooting of the movie Brinks, Jack, and it's certainly a lot more entertainment than you'll see on many movie screens around town these days. Actually, spectators are welcome in the general filming area. They're Supposed to be in the 80s, and it uh, looks like a nice week coming up. A few showers possibly on Wednesday, but that's all right. Hope all of you uh, survive the sunshine and the sunburns and the trip home and everything else. Sleep well tonight. Uh, spray yourself if you burn. Have a very pleasant evening. <laughs> This is Dan Ray. Your workday might be over, but mine isn't. I'll be...